Kings Lynn Town manager Ian Pulverhouse is hoping for a repeat performance from the fans when his promotion-seeking side host Dallas Owen Town at the Walks tomorrow. The Lynn faithful created a vociferous atmosphere during the club's last home game against Alvey Church and their support worked wonders as they saw off playoff rivals with a Chris Henderson goal. And with three home games of the regulation season remaining, Culverhouse wants the supporters to create another cauldron of noise as the Linnets look to make it four wins on the bounce in the Southern Central Premier. Linnets boss Ian Culverhouse, 5,981,627 If we have that kind of noise behind us again then I know the players will produce, said Culverhouse. They really were magnificent that night, and if they can come out and get fully behind us again, it will really push the team on, you only have to look back to the end of last season to see what kind of support this club is capable of. The fans have got a huge part to play between now and the end of the season, Culverhouse expects the race for the playoff spots to go right to the final day of the season, a day when Lynn travel to take on Storbridge in a fixture that could determine who finishes second. But the Lynn boss only remains concerned with how his side perform on the pitch and not the various permutations that come with any promotion push. Looking ahead to the visit of the relegation-threatened Yelts, Culverhouse said, What we've got to do is make sure that we turn up and compete against Hallis Owen. If we do that then we will be on the right side of a football result, a lot of people saw the end of March as a make-or-break week. We picked up three wins, so what's important now is that we don't turn up flat on Saturday. This group of players have been a joy to work with, they really have. I can't praise them enough and I'm sure they will be focused on getting another result on Saturday. Home fans will get their first glimpse of new signing Ross Barrows who turned in an impressive shift in the 2-0 win at Stratford last Saturday. Ross is a good player in. He will get better with the group, he's just got to get used to them, admitted the Lynn chief, he sat in the dressing room at Stratford an hour before kickoff, introduced himself and came out and put in a fantastic performance, he will get fitter as well. Because of the way we play, you've got to be able to handle the ball. He looked like he'd played for us all season, I knew him from my previous club. Technically he is very good and we are a technical team, I knew the way he played would suit us and the way we play would suit him, it really was a no-brainer when he became available as we'd been trying to get him for some time, but for one reason or another it didn't happen, fair play to Steven Cleave for making it happen and backing us. We've just got to make sure that we produce for him now. Meanwhile, Alice Owen boss Lee Hughes has vowed that his side would fight to the end, following their goalless draw against Leiston last weekend. The former West Bromwich and Coventry City striker told the Alice Owen News, It's very difficult but we'll fight to the end. We're 9 points behind but the lads are still fighting, there were 21 points to play for before the game. We'll try to get as many points on the board as we can between now and the end of the season, it's out of our hands but so long as we still put the effort in until the end of the season I'll be happy with that, Hughes was appointed as first team player, manager of the Yelts until the end of the season earlier this month and was joined by Asa Charlton as his assistant and Craig Harris as coach. Former manager Rob Smith's 18 games at the helm produced just two wins and 10 points, leaving the club second bottom in the table. Linz, Craig Parker and Harry Lim were both on target when the two sides met and drew 2-2 at the Grove back in September.